Okay, good morning, everyone, uh, or afternoon, or evening, wherever you are. Uh, I'm Richard Davis. I'm the CIO at Catalyst Data Management. And joining me today are Michael Wilhite, who's the manager of GIS here at Catalyst and is also spending time as a developer on the OSU GIS consumption zone. And Debasis Chatterjee, who's our director of research and analytics and also our OSDU PMC vice chair. A little background on Catalyst. For those of you that don't know us, we were founded in 1985 as Kelman Technologies, changing our name to Catalyst Data Management in 2012. And we have offices around the globe providing data management services to our global customer base. Uh, we presently host 95 petabytes of subsurface data for our clients, which is split roughly two thirds in our private cloud data centers in the US, Canada, UK, Norway, Malaysia, and Australia, and one third in AWS and Azure data centers, both Catalyst managed and client managed. This 95 petabytes represents millions of seismic surveys and wells and thousands of interpretation projects all cataloged in our eyeglass catalog today. Uh, our main service lines are a digital transformation, which includes contextualization of data, storage and protection, consulting, e-brokerage, data analytics, and of course, data management. Uh, we've been a member of OSDU since February 2019. Uh, we've pioneered the EDS wrapper for connecting external data sources to OSDU services. Uh, we've got an in-house OSDU R3M9 on AWS. Uh, and just this week, we started the installation of an OSDU R3M10 on Azure for our in-house development and OSDU service provision needs. So given that context of the background of Catalyst, um, our OSDU related development is in the area of uh, data management services. Uh, among the tools we've developed are some desktop data loading tools that leverage manifest based ingestion and some web based data management tools that sit on top of the OSDU data platform. So today, Michael is going to give an overview of our data loading tools, a reference data manager, and our search and order portal. So over to you, Michael. All right. Thank you, Richard. Uh, we've got a few tools. So in the interest of time, we'll be briefly touching on our OSU accelerators here. So if you'd like any more information or for a more in-depth demo, please get in touch with us, and we'll be happy to go into more details on any of these tools. Uh, so first, what we're going to look at is a loader for manifest-based ingestion for creating master data records. Uh, this tool makes it easy for loading metadata into OSDU using an Excel template that everybody seems to be familiar with. Uh, but first, you will need to sign in. And OSDU uses OAuth, and it can be a bit confusing if you've never used OAuth before. Uh, we made it pretty easy just by filling out the values in this box here. Uh, which if you're using OSDU in the cloud, you can get from your CSPs, or if you're deployed locally, you can get it from your IT team. Our configuration wizard uh, allows for importing and exporting of your uh, OAuth information, so it makes setting up and sharing pretty easy. Uh, I've already got an instance here signed in. Uh, so once you're signed in, uh, all you have to do is click Generate Template and it produces an Excel file that goes into your OSDU instance and grabs uh, reference or lookup values and adds that to your Excel sheet. Uh, so I've got a pre-populated Excel sheet here. Uh, so one of the nice things about this is like any of the uh, lookup values are now uh, drop downs. So you can see this is data that was uh, referenced in OSDU so you don't need to remember what the reference is. Uh, it will automatically pull those values for you as a dropdown to reduce errors. And any dates are also uh, validated as well. So make sure that it, it, the dates are in range and in the right format. And as you can see down here towards the bottom, these are all of the uh, master data fields that you can potentially fill out and submit. Uh, so all of these will change depending on uh, what the references are. And once when you're happy with that, uh, you can just go ahead and hit save, and then you just load data uh, and then select the, the Excel file that you've just used. And I, I pre-did this already, so this is what it looks like after you've clicked load data. It'll tell you uh, what it actually inserted. And 
for backup, uh, it actually saves a JSON object into a, a temp location. And you can actually view these, these JSON templates to see exactly what it's submitting to OSDU in the backend for you. So all of this data is required uh, for, for OSDU and it'll fill out any of the fields that you filled out and automatically submit that stuff. Uh, you can also get here a, a run ID uh, and this uh, you can view in the Airflow console. If anybody is familiar with the, the Airflow, this comes with OSDU a real quick. Uh, you can actually check the progress of how that submission is going here in OSDU and see uh, if there was any problems in the Airflow console. Uh, so this is, uh, to be fair, this, this is just loading the metadata for the master records. Uh, if you want to actually load data, we also have another tool. Uh, this one is for SegWi loading. You can see it has a very similar interface uh, as the other one where you need to sign in and configure a connection. you can also, uh, this one that you select a folder, uh, tell it where the SegWi folders uh, or the SegWi data is in the folder. Uh, once when you add all from folder, it'll also ask you if there's any subfolders it wants to search. You can tell it yes or no, and then the clear all or remove selection. Uh, once when you've selected a SegWi here, uh, you click on extract SegWi information and you can see it pulls out some of the common binary and trace header values from the SegWi file. Uh, so here we got inline and crossline, word format type dimensions. And if you are looking for the EPSIC or if you need to make adjustments to where the coordinates or the inline and crossline is, you can click this button here and it pulls up and does a quick scan of the text header for your EPSIC so you can double check to see if the values are in the right location, along with uh, byte locations that you can adjust here, 73, 77. This is kind of like where the standard uh, SegWi data is. You can also click on this trace tab. This will preview some of the traces and the, the respective values. So you can make sure uh, the, the coordinates are in the right spot and the scalar is, is, is correct. You can also override or tell it to no, no scale on the scalars. So once when you're happy with that, you can hit submit and rerun it and it will repopulate this uh, here for you. Uh, and then you can click on upload SegWi file to S3. So this will put it into your cloud bucket. Uh, so you will actually be uploading the data to the OSDU storage and then click load to actually load the metadata record to, to, uh, to your OSDU instance. So this is for SegWi's. We also have a tool for uh, well logs, same similar interface, uh, same thing with the SegY. Uh, you'll click and tell it where your data is. Uh, here I've preloaded up a last file. You can add all or you can add a single one and extract logs and auto match once when your logs are, are shown here and it will pull out the uh, data from the last files. and then click load to load the data into OSDU. And finally, uh, we have also a generic document loader. Uh, so same deal here. We've got a folder that I've already selected. Uh, I'll click add all from folder. Uh, here's the prompt. And it will, here's just two uh, dummy records that I've, I've added here. It lists the digital format, how many pages. This all goes into OSDU as well. Uh, here you can tie it to specific uh, uh, entities here. So for example, if this was a wellboard document, uh, we can actually click on uh, select a specific entry. Um, we can search in our OSDU instance. We'll just do a wildcard search real quick to see what wellboards we have. And if we wanted to tie this document to, for example, it's just a test well here, one here. Uh, it will automatically fill out that data for you uh, so that uh, it'll, it'll be tied to the appropriate record. But we don't like leaving orphan records not tied to a, a master document. So clicking load here will load this these data into OSDU. It'll, all, all of these tools will also put the, uh, the JSON payload into your, your temp folder for you to also review. So these are the sort of the 
desktop tools that we have to help quickly get data into your OSDU instance. Uh, I'm going to move on to some of our uh, web-based tools. This first one here is a reference manager. So like you saw in the Excel spreadsheet where those dropdowns were coming from, this is the, the reference manager here. And so all of these values are references in OSDU, and there is quite a lot of them. Uh, this page here makes it pretty easy to just uh, customize or add or remove data. You can search for a specific uh, reference here in the search bar. If you find one that you want to edit, uh, you can click on it. It will go into your instance. Uh, you can quickly add a new one, or if you want to modify or delete, just click on the one that you want and you can change the code name or description, you can update or just straight up delete this. Uh, this shows the references in the specific partition that you're in. So OSDU can have multiple partitions and you can click on this and change the partition, which may change some of the permissions that you have if you have a multi-part OSDU install. So that's the, the reference manager. And I'm gonna move on to the search and order POC. So this one is our web-based tool that's uh, driven here by a map. It also has the same uh, partition dropdown, so you can view data in different partitions. Uh, this is just a POC, so right now we're only displaying the wellbore and seismic as sort of a, a common workflow. You can search for items through the wildcard search text. Uh, you can change some of the layers. Uh, you can also just do spatial queries as well. So we just wanted to grab a few items here. I'm just going to select these guys. And these should pull back some relevant metadata for each one of the objects here. So we've got seismic acquisition, acquisition survey here. Uh, it's got the appropriate metadata for these. You see it's a little bit different from the wellbore, so there's unique IDs. Uh, if you want to see the associated uh, work product component or inventory records here, you can click on this. It'll search through OSDU and display that information for you as well. Uh, so here we've got the, the SegWi file with some uh, metadata from the SegWi itself. Uh, here's a well bore that we selected. So we've expanded this one. We can see some of the inventory records we've got loaded to this specific well bore. Uh, so we've got a directional survey here and a well log. And you might notice this little download icon here. If you've got permissions, uh, you can click on the download icon and this will pop up an immediate download. So you can just say direct download, uh, live demo. Let's see if I hit submit, this should uh, download it straight to, there it goes, the download is ready. Click on this. We'll just save this to my desktop. And if we go to the desktop, we should have the raw data. Here we are. So this is the actual trajectory behind the metadata here downloaded locally uh, if, if I have the right permissions. So uh, that all looks good here. If we go back to our web app, uh, we can also Instead of doing uh, direct downloads, if you are a part of a cloud instance, we can also do multi-selects. So a well board trajectory and a well log here. And you'll see a little delivery request pop up over here for submitting orders. So we can click on submit order. We can do a direct download again, but if we also have a, a cloud bucket attached, we can actually just copy it straight from uh, the OSDU into a cloud bucket here. So if we click submit on this guy, uh, this should copy it over to our specific uh, S3 bucket that we have for, for Amazon. And here you can see the time it took, the bucket, a key name, and then the actual S3 path over here that you can uh, actually retrieve the files from. So that's, uh, that's a pretty quick and dirty list of, of our tools for the desktop, being able to put data into OSDU uh, then our, our reference manager here allows uh, editing references and then our map-based search and order POC. So uh, 
hopefully these tools can help you uh, on your OSDU journey and, or at least help you get started.